The S45N bandsaw is one of the longest running machine models in the Minimax lineup. Impressing woodworkers for over 40 years, the S45 is a versatile, all-around performer with enough power to handle any task. There isn't a whole lot to the installation here. You'll need to install the fence system and adjust the guide brackets, and that's it. Here you can see me tightening up the bolts to the bar. I like to make sure there is a little gap at the back so the fence is touching at the far end only, which makes it easier to slide from side to side. Now I'm checking to make sure the guides are aligned properly. These roller guides have an eccentric cam so it is easy to bring them into optimal positioning with the blade and uh, there are no tools required for day-to-day -day use. Here you can see me unlock the lower guide assembly to orient the whole system in line with the blade. Once that is done, the adjustment of the guides themselves is the same as if it was the upper guides. Again, no tools required. For day-to-day -day operations, that is. Alright, let's test this puppy out and resaw this mahogany. Uh, this piece here is about 8 inches tall and the S45 is capable of 12 inches of resaw capacity. I'm using a 1 inch carbide tip blade for this operation. Very nice results. Here you can see me putting the fence into the lower position uh, for uh, ripping operations. Uh, now I'm repositioning the guide post with the rack and pinion adjustment for our next uh, test cuts, ripping some leg blanks. Unlike a table saw, which will complain on some of the thicker stock, a good bandsaw rips a two inch board just as easily as it rips a three quarter board. Let's change the blade so we can do some uh, contour cutting. Uh, I'll be dropping down to a quarter inch blade for this next operation. Here you can see me adding tension to the blade and then uh, once we do that I'm going to track it. That's the tracking adjustment right there. 
Uh, with these smaller blades, like this quarter inch blade, I like to track them towards the center of the tire, not uh, out towards the edge like the manual recommends for most blades. Lastly, we remove the fence so that we can have the freedom to roam around the table as we cut our different arcs and curves. Good. These are ready for a spoke shave. Now we'll demonstrate the uh, internal mobility kit that comes with the machine. You just press that lever down and it engages the wheels and then you can tote the bandsaw around. Thanks for watching.